Hey, you guys like Power Rangers, right? Well, how about 48 packs of Power Rangers cards? So, hey guys, welcome to the new setup for the new channel. This is a very professional setup. Uh, we are currently on my dresser, which of course is full of my clothing. As I don't have any other good desk to do this on. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. So, I don't know a whole lot about these cards. Also, I don't know a whole lot about Power Rangers. I played a lot of the games as a kid and I always loved the games and the characters from them. I never watched much of the show. But I do know each of these packs comes with this, like, card that lets you answer questions that are on the trading cards. It's just weird. And, oh, these are pretty bent, aren't they? Okay, so this is the... Okay, it's really simple. So the idea is that these are going to have questions on them. It is not wanting to focus. Apparently, these are going to have questions on them, and you line this up with the card in order to figure out the answers. My camera does not like focusing on this little clear piece of plastic. Man, these are, these are stuck together. What year were these made in again? It doesn't have a year. There it is, 1994. These cards were made a year before I was born. So it looks like a lot of them are just going to be, oh, come on. They can't flip them right the right way around. They're just like pictures from the show. These are really stuck. Holy God. So yeah, they have like these questions on the back. That's actually kind of neat. So it says like, who were the contestants on the game show Trick or Treat? I guess if you're a big fan of this. You could, you would be interested in this. You can line it up. That's cool. So it just marks the X right on the correct answer. So Kimberly and Skull. Okay, yeah, I have no idea who half these characters are. Why did I decide that Power Rangers cards would be a cool idea? I don't know. Why did I buy 48 packs of them is a better question. Because I know we're just going to get a lot of repeats today. What the hell is going on here? He's like picking someone up and... Her, she's attached to his legs, and there are just some dudes wearing, like, all black here. I, I need to watch that show. I need to go back and watch 90s Power Rangers. There we go. That's the squad. That's more of what I was expecting from these cards. Again, these are super stuck together. Like, I know that they're old, but what the, like, were, were these things stored in just, like, a metal shed? Like, they are super warped. And, God, I did not expect these to be this beat up when they were sealed. Where the hell did this dude store these things? Well, there's just a Pink Ranger card, and we got our foil. Who the hell is that? I do not know my Power Rangers villains at all. Surprise Encounter. The evil alien Babu, his name is Babu, is transported to Earth again by Rita to cause more trouble for the Power Rangers. Quiz, what sport is played in the Super Bowl? Really? Does it actually have... There's a puzzle up there? I'm so confused at how this is supposed to work. I just don't care. Alright, let's do the next one. I have a feeling this is going to take entirely too long. Mostly because of like, just trying to peel the cards apart. Like, just trying to actually get them... To not stick together and second pack we're already pulling duplicates again we're getting those weird like what are those dudes they're wearing this like all gray in this one they were wearing all black in the other like oh look that's two cards i thought it would feel a little thick that is the blurriest photo i know my camera isn't wanting to focus too well on it but oh my god what am i looking at just the dude that is three cards right there Three cards, all stuck together. Jesus, these things did not hold up to the test of time. And I gotta say, like, they feel really weird. Like, the front has this, like, glossy feeling to it. You can kind of see, like, the lights reflecting on it. The back is, like, matte. Like, this just feels like crappy cardboard. This feels more like an actual trading card. It's like they just put a layer over the front, which is obviously what they did. But the back they didn't do anything special with. It just feels like cardboard. It's a weird mix. And what I think it is, is like, the the gloss like finish on this has got hot from wherever they stored it, and they're just sticking to the back of the other cards. That dude again. Oh, we got another. Oh, there's, there's some ranger boys and girls. 
So some some ranger people. And then we have another answer board. We're just going to have a pile of those things. And what the hell? Are we... Is this Tron? Are we in Tron now? And it's another Zordon. I mean, it sounds like Tron to me. All right. All right. We're just going to start trying to fly through these things. Apparently, that was sold at Walmart for a dollar and 27 cents. Well, I definitely did not pay that much per pack. I don't remember how much I paid for these. It was stupid cheap. Why else ought I be opening Power Rangers cards? All right. Um, we got more of those weird, like, shadow dudes. I really should have researched the series before I bought stuff from the franchise. I recognize those characters. I, I, I have seen the show. I recognize some of these characters. Um, obviously, like, the main team, mostly. But... God, can you stop sticking? Did they glue these before they sealed the packs? Look, they're on a different planet. But it's like the questions have nothing to do with the card. So like we have them like on some other planet staring up at Earth, but the back doesn't give us any kind of context. Oh, it does. Split space exploration. Okay. So we get some kind of context, but the question has nothing to do with it. Good lord, those stick together. All right. What the... Are they... Are, are they... Are, is... Is that just whipped cream, or is that something else? Hey, look, it's Peter Dinklage. All right, another amazing answer board. Then... People... Standing in the boxing arena with another shadow dude. Okay, ninja finals. Are they supposed to be ninjas? Those guys wearing gray and black? Something interesting, please. Get out of here. Oh, we got that dude again. I feel like I, every so often I'm missing a card because of how stuck these things are. Like, can you hear that? Like... Let me let me get the mic close to that. Like, are we just gonna have to have like an ASMR video just for de-sticking Power Rangers cards? All right, let's go. Good lord, normally these open like nothing. Alright, we got more people, more people. Okay, I actually like that. I like that card, it's just... Oh, it's the checklist. I like how you have to pull the checklist from some of these old card packs. Like, it's not something, it's not something that's just given to you. You have to pull it as like a common card. I like, I like the face on that dude. All right, uh, they're making bombs. Uh, Green Ranger, Black Ranger, uh, thing that haunts me in my nightmares. Earth, j j just Earth. Another Ranger, I assume. Uh, same dude beating up a gray ninja thing. An answer board that is stuck to a hollow of a girl being pinned to a wheel. All right. Pumpkin points. Got it. All right, come on. Something that's interesting. I, why is it that my favorite card so far was the, the the checklist? For those of you guys who actually like Power Rangers, like you're you're probably looking at some of these and be like, man, that's great. Like I like that one, but like I don't know the show that well, and I'm not too interested in going back and watching it. You know, the '90s Power Rangers. We're getting a lot of duplicates again this time as well. Uh, they're, they're at, they're at a water tower. Another one of, how many of that dude are we going to get? Oh, that was more ninja things. Another blue ranger, pink ranger again. We have another answer sheet and the exact same team finals, ninja finals thing. Cool. Next up, come on. Something interesting. No, these are terrible. They're just terribly boring. All right. Hey, these ones aren't sticking. Look at that. Look, they're, you can like shuffle them. They're like cards. 
I mean, of course, they still can't put them in the packs right side up. And, like, that one's facing to the right, to the right. That one's just upside down, to the right, to the right, upside down. So they put these just sort of upside down in the pack itself. At least they're all facing similar directions, except for these ones that are facing left now. And we got the foil of that dude again. All right, we got Space, Punchy Boy, Whipped Cream, Big Boy, P Peter Dinkles, N Green Ranger, uh, Black Ranger, I think, fighting another ninja. Uh, a blurry photo that you could say Sasquatch was in and somebody would probably believe you. R Rita's Prison. That does not... What am I even looking at? It looks like a desert with, like, a Star Wars spaceship. Uh, a thing serving hamburgers. More rangers. A, a zombie. A non-foil version of that dude. An answer sheet. And we got, we got a foil version of the, of the card that I don't understand. Rita's prison. Like, can you guys see that okay? Like, it... It, there's nothing to see. It is a desert with, like, a Star Wars fucking ship on the front, kind of. It seriously looks like what they did is they went through all of the uh, episodes, or maybe just, like, five episodes, and just, like, selected screenshots and just, like, took a bunch of screenshots of random scenes and was like, yep, we can go ahead and print that one. Like, didn't... That one was so stuck... It tore off part of the other card, and it got stuck on the back of that one. I ate... It, that one did the same thing! Like, I get it, these cards are, you know, over 30 years old. But, good lord, well, they're almost 30 years old. They're not quite 30 years old. What year were they made again? Yeah, 94. They're, they're getting there. They're almost 30 years old. So, like, I don't expect them to, like, hold up perfectly, but, man, like, I've seen people open, like, Pokemon cards that were made back in the 90s, you know, 1999, and they're still fine. They don't stick like this. Either, oh, look, my nightmare is on a foil. Like, I don't know if it's quality control, if it's just the quality of the cards that they're doing that, or the person who sold me these just stored them in a metal box outside. Good, all the repeats. That's what I wanted, a million repeats. So many Peter Dinklebergs. God, is there a single new card in this in this whole pack? Or is this whole pack going to be repeats? Yeah, that whole pack. That whole pack was repeats. And, yeah, we got. it's even a repeat of a foil. Wow, that one was terrible. Do you think maybe I bought too many of these? I mean, to be fair, I couldn't have purchased any less. This is the number that they were selling. And they came, like, perfectly packaged in this box. Like, they fit perfect. Just, like, one stack there, one stack there. Oh, those are warped. Okay. You know, I have to try to fight- I don't have to try and flatten these things out or try and preserve them a little bit, you know? Save part of history that no one else is gonna care about. Somebody has to do it. What is happening here? Did somebody throw him? Is he flying? Because none of them threw him. They're all doing poses. None of them lifted him up in the air. He's going to fall on them. Someone's going to break a bone. All right, we got we got we got a yellow man that was stuck. Oh hey, a new card. I think the yellow one is new too. God, these are so stuck. I don't know who 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 is this. Oh, Vanna Elvira. All right. Hello, Vanna. I don't think the games, I don't think my knowledge of the games taught me enough about, about the franchise. I think she's new. I think that's another new one. Oh, pinned on the wheel, non-hollow. These are so stuck together. They're getting torn. All right. Uh, hey, that's a guy who is delivering burgers, but this time he's not delivering burgers. Uh, we got a lady. Um, he's also doing that weird, he looks like he might be flying, but I'm pretty sure he was just thrown thing. Trick or treat, I suppose. Oh, hey, that looks like the one card we got a million repeats of, but it's not. It's a different character. It looks even more messed up. It's, it, that is Babu. Okay. Um, and then, 
That is seriously stuck. Holy, there we go. And we got a repeat of my nightmares. So yeah, for anybody watching this, if you actually got this far, hey, new card, good job for getting this far. Um, if you're wondering what this channel is, I'm just going to be like, I order a lot of things, I collect a lot of things, I've been getting super into cards lately, and I don't know, I, I think if it is a neat idea to do a second channel for unboxing this kind of crap for anybody that actually cares. Um, I have some other interesting things on the way, I just, you know, I got these today, and I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and do the Power Rangers cards, that'll be... That'll make for a great first video, which is more of a test for me than anything to see if I can actually make something somewhat entertaining out of this mess. Man, look at all these amazing- Hey, new one! New one! Oh, I don't, okay. Neat. More, more ninjas, but it was a new one. I mean, I can't complain too much. And... Nightmares again. Holy god, I can just make a full binder full of these things. Oh, and the first card of that pack, another another nightmare. Thank you. Earth, uh, another ranger dude. Uh, Kicking more... Ni oh. Poor Elvis impersonator. Swivel hips. Wait, so is he not supposed to be an Elvis impersonator? Is he supposed to be a character in the series that is just Elvis, but they obviously couldn't get the rights to use Elvis as a person, so they made swivel hips? Okay. Uh, people sitting on a car. Another volcano at Hobby Week. Uh, woo. We got a shark boy. Oh, no, I think we've seen that one. Um, and, okay, well, at least we got a foil of, you know, Red Ninja, Red Ranger falling to kill his friends. Neat. Oh, Flying Ranger. So he is flying. He is flying in that card. He, he's, he's not falling to his death. Apparently he can fly. I didn't know that was a thing. You can't fly in the games. So yeah, if the audio sounds a little weird, I do apologize. This is my first time ever using this microphone. It's just like a little lav mic, and it's really sensitive. I'm using this app, and I have the gain turned all the way down, so I'll have to boost the volume a little bit in post, but not too much. But I can't even attach it to my chest. I have it, like, down, like, basically in one of the drawers in the dresser. It's really sensitive. It had amazing reviews, but man... So hopefully this turns out okay. I mean, I haven't ever done a recording like this either. This is... Oh, man. This is one of the first times I've ever recorded with, uh... This camera, like, not hooked up through OBS. So I'm actually viewing it from a tiny screen. And it's hard to tell if things are, like, in focus and... You know, all that kind of stuff. So this is definitely like a warm-up video. If you guys are enjoying it, then sweet. If not, then at least I get to learn something from it. That's kind of what matters to me right now. What the hell is that thing? If my camera lens didn't suck, I could zoom it in further for you guys. I it just it's like it has like lobster hands and a giant mouth, like massive okay. Does it have a name? Terror Toad. It's supposed to be a toad with lobster hands. And we're getting all repeats that are sticking together. And oh my god, we got a foil of that again. Uh, apparently my camera is trying to overheat, so I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, while I was waiting for the camera to cool down, I realized when I got like some of the cards stacked together. And if if you want to see exactly what I mean by these cards are super bent. Look at this. It's it's a spring. They're like spring loaded. I need to figure out how I'm going to flatten down. What is it like 500 cards? This is not going to be fun. All right, let's get into the next one. Hope my hope we can do this for my camera tries to overheat again. I was told that this Sony Alpha 5000 camera had that issue, but it, I never really ran into it much. I guess it only really overheats when you're actually recording and not just running it through OBS. Because I've never really run into overheating before. I really hope it's not a re reoccurring issue. I've been wanting to get a new camera lens, but I might have having to get a new camera eventually. I gotta say, I do like that one. It's probably like one of the coolest like Ranger cards we've seen. 
And last, okay, well, we, we got a foil of the, the squad. All right, next one, come on. Something, so, something interesting, something new, some, some kind of foil. Well, well, okay, well, there's my nightmares. How many, like, maybe that card, I feel like I'm just getting a lot of it because I hate it. Like, maybe that's the reason I, I, I keep thinking I'm getting more of it than anything else. Because I don't think that's true. I think I'm getting a lot of all of the cards. Like, pretty even spread. Yeah, there's Sharkman again, uh, goth people, and our foil. How many of this freaking foil are we gonna get? Like, yeah, Nightmare card is gonna, like, you know, give me nightmares, but this is just dumb. And I think that's our third foil of that one. It is, like, the worst photo they could have used. Okay, well, I did just realize on this foil, you probably can't see that. It is not wanting to focus. It says right here, Power Foil Subset. And I don't think the other foils, okay, maybe they do. Yeah, okay, all of them say power foil subset. So I guess that's not really anything special, is it? Uh, ho hobby week, yeah. Uh, people standing there. I don't think when these were produced that they really intended for people to actually go out and buy multiple packs, or at least, you know, more than like a small handful because the amount of repeats is ridiculous like i think they expected like power rangers fans at the time to like see these you know when they go to walmart or wherever and just think okay yeah i can go ahead and pick that up and that one again what are we like halfway how many have we opened like we we we, we had 48 i feel like we're only about halfway all right there's that little freaky boy again Oh, they're all sticking together again. This is another one of those really bad packs. Yeah, like, that is just awful. I I don't want to throw away these cards, but man, the ones that are torn up like that are definitely going to get stored somewhere else. They're, this entire pack's going to be like that. And we got a new one. We got a new one, and we tore the freaking... Okay, let's hope I can get another one of those guys. What is What, what, what are you called? A squat? <laughs> Okay, new favorite card. Hi there, squat. We need to get one of you that isn't going to be torn. Good lord, these are stuck. Okay, there's another new one. Again, uh, uh, Gung Ho, Team Ninja Finals. This is the second time we've seen the finals for ninjas. But different card, and I don't want it to be torn. All right, yep, hi there, yellow. It's the girl again. Come on. Yeah, I think that one might be new too. And again, we just ruined part of the card. Maybe we have seen that one before. It's hard to tell. They all have those freaking ninja things on them. And I think that one's new. I think that's a different foil for us. We ruined the top of it, so who cares? Who made these? Collect a card. That's what I thought. Because there's a lot of these like brands that made these cards back in the day. Yeah, collect a card, tops, uh God, what's the one called? Like fur some fear F E E R or something like that? I don't remember. Fleer. It was Fleer. And this is, I think, the first time I've ever seen, like, a Collect-A-Card pack. I've never bought anything from Collect-A-Card. And I really hope that as far as the condition of these cards isn't quality control issue, I do hope it was due to how they were stored. Even though it lowers the value of these ones, at least it would speak, you know, that Collect-A-Card isn't, like, a terrible thing. Yes! Okay. We got our boy. If we can get him in foil, though, that would make me happy. All right. And lastly, we got we got the the, the ninja boys again. What what are they called? Troublemakers. Well, look at that little troublemaker. He's gonna do some bad things. All right. We got wheel. These are sticking again, but they're not too bad. I don't think. Come on. All right, we got lady, we got flying thing, we have something, come on, unstick, uh, trick or treat, we got that dude again, I'm tired of having to spin all these cards around, okay, I think that's a different picture of our, of our little squad there, uh, team finals, uh, Chun Li, come on, stop, uh, more of those, yes, we got another one, my boy, uh, wait, did we just get... Okay, no. I just realized these cards have the exact same border on all of them. Like, there's nothing, like, 
unique about the borders unless they're a foil. And even then, like, the foils all have the same border. Like, if we look at these two together, that is the exact same pattern, exact same, you know, foil type, just two different images in the center. Like, none of the foils are super unique. Like, when you look at, like, you know, like the Pokemon cards especially, like, they have so many different types of foils. And these are all just the exact same. You know, this is one of those times where, like, I could just catch one of these packs on fire and not even care, because I would already have everything inside of it. Uh, cool. Yeah, all repeats, all duplicates. Uh, that green ninja might be new. I don't remember. Black ninja again. Nightmares again? Um, what, what, Earth, Earth. Hey, did you guys know that I live here? I, I live in this location. You guys can come dox me now. Uh, please don't. Uh, uh, we got Elvis again, and no, why are we getting the same foils? I'm wondering if every card has the potential to be a foil, or if it's just, like, certain ones they decided to make foils of. Because it is kind of dumb that, like, all the foils have a foil and non-foil version of them. Like, it's not terrible, it's just, you know, whatever. It makes the cards feel less... the foils and stuff feel less special. Hey, these ones are kind of not sticking, there's a little group there. Red one... what the hell? Did they just, like, get into a car wreck? Left in the dust. Well, possibly. Uh, back in space, punchy man, whipped cream, uh, dude, Peter Dinkles. Uh, oh look, my favorite card again. Oh joy. Uh, what are you, Burger Man? We got we got Burger Boy. We got we got our squad. We have an amazing answer board, and we got the girl on the wheel again as a foil. Next up, come on, we're almost done here. We're almost done. Not really. God, we have so many of these. Note to self: never buy this many cards for a video again. Like. Why did I think buying 48 packs was a great idea? Again, I think th there was one other lot that I saw. Um, there was actually these, but I think that pack is destroyed. I think they were in, uh, like, green wrappers instead of pink, I think. And But there were like 100 packs. And I was like, no, I think 48 is going to be plenty. Although I suppose, you know, 100 packs would have made for a better... Uh, clickbait title for this video. I don't even know what I'm going to call this thing. Deranged man opens 48 cards he doesn't care about. Alright, another another one of those boys. So I just realized these cards are actually numbered on the back. So we can actually try and complete the whole set a lot easier. Instead of having to like compare images, we can just do them in order. So that makes life a bit easier. I can go ahead and like get a whole complete set together. Nightmare. That is, if I have the complete set, I think there are only 70-something cards in this, like a lot of the other, like, you know, Tops brands and stuff tend to do. do, do. Especially uh, Panani, Panini, pa Papuku. Um, I'm pretty, like, they have a lot of their card packs. Like, if you buy, like, a full box of the card packs, um, it's actually guaranteed that you'll get the full base set, and then you'll get the special stuff on top of it. I'm guessing that, in this case, we're gonna have the full base set. I think it's been quite a bit since we've seen something we haven't seen before. I think one or two of them, like, I thought might be something new, but I don't think they are. We've probably already seen it. It's just a repeat. Okay, we got another one of these, and is that our first time getting a foil of that? I don't think it is. I think we've seen that foil. Not that it matters, it's just the picture that we've seen before with the border that all the other foils have. It's not special. Like, you should at least try to make your foils feel something special, you know what I mean? Like, m make the person who actually manages the pull a good foil, because they're, gu they're guaranteed to have one. But either I have terrible luck, or all of the foils just look exactly the same, and there isn't something that's, like, hyper rare and, you know, super valuable, whatever. Not that these cards have any value. Again, I bought all these packs for next to nothing. I think I paid like maybe ten dollars for all of this. I don't remember. Fo foil foil squad. So now if you guys want to buy your own Power Rangers packs, you know they're they're not that expensive. I have some other things that cost more on the way, by the way, in case you're just wanting to see a man blow through all of his money. Uh, now is your chance. 
All right, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, seen all of these, seen you, seen you, come on, anything different. Nope, just, just all the same trash, and we got another foil, the girl on the board. I'm, so, we've seen a lot of repeats of these foils. I'm guessing that we have all of the foils, unless there's, like, some hyper rare foil, like I was saying earlier. So I'll probably just beat up pack, like... Can you see how destroyed that thing is? That is not in a good condition. That is beat to hell. These are probably going to be the hardest cards to actually go through. Oh my, what the hell? Hold on a minute. Do you see this? Is that mold? What am I? That is not printed on the card. That is like dirt. How did that get into this pack? It is a brick. It is. I opened it. Is that a new card? I think that's a new card. What the hell? Good lord. Come on. All right. Well, we're opening them. We're slowly. I want to know what the, what the, what the foil is. Come on. Let's look at the foil. I'm sure it survived. All right. Our answer board is in there. Come on, answer board, get off. And it was a trick or treat card. <laughs> I think this is the best pack. Oh god, my desk is covered in whatever that brown stuff. So are my fingers. Oh god, look at that. My desk is just covered in that dirt. <sighs> That's good. All right. Well, that wasn't quite what I was hoping. Whenever I saw a super beat up pack, I was like, "Hey, this will make for a funny ha ha." These cards are going to be super beat, and I'm going to pull something special out of it. Well, there were cards I hadn't seen before in there, but they weren't super beat. They were useless. Say, hey, look, let's go to the foil first, why don't we? Because I'm stupid. All right, let's go. Uh, Earth. Uh, punchy Man. Kicky Man. Elvis Man. Mini Men. Hobby Week Men. Uh, people Men. Man with just a face. Shark man. Man with woman man. Men in costumes, I think. And men logo. Next. All right, come on. What are, what are you? All right, got another one of those. Got, come on. And yep. And all things we've seen before. Is it this thrilling, guys? Yep. All these new... Okay, well, there's the boy. I mean, I just want, I just want, like, a collection of him. And lastly, we got him again. I don't think we're going to find anything new anymore. I think we've seen about all there is to see. I don't think there's going to be any other foils. At least it's really unlikely, because we're getting the same foils over and over. Now, this pack is a little warped, too, so let's see how these hold up. Well, they're not covered in dirt, so that's the first good sign. All right, we got my boy again, but he's all wrinkled. Uh, come on, don't stick. Don't stick! We got girl, we got nin ninjas. We got girl upside down. We got girl on wheel. We have burger boy. And the team finals again, woo! All right, what do you have for me? Oh, they're bent that direction. These were definitely stored in a very safe, protective way. Um, oh, is that more than one card? That was a loud sound. Yep, that was more than one card. Yep, we got we got Lady again. We're getting all of the same cards. Yep, look at you. Oh, there's the boy. And lastly... Hey, wasn't that like our first foil? Like, they literally printed these cards that have no value aside from the initial release. Because, like, there's nothing rare. There's nothing worth searching for, as far as I can tell. There isn't anything, like, super crazy. There's no reason for anybody to go out and buy a bunch of these cards. Like, the reason that a lot of these, like, collectible cards and stuff stay around is because they give you a reason to keep coming back, to keep buying them. And these don't. Like, yeah, you might, if you want to get the complete set, yeah, you're going to have to buy a fair amount. And they were running at $1.75, so I suppose it's not the easiest, uh, you know, back in 94 to get a complete set of these. 
but even then, like, you know, think about, like, the bigger TCGs right now, like Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh!, which I think has, like, kind of seen a resurgence lately from what I've heard. Like, all of those, they're, they're, they cost a lot more, you know, now. Um, you know, usually paying, like, 4 to $5 for a pack. But completing a single set is, you know, a, a large amount of work and a lot of money spent. And, and this, it's nothing. It's just... Ugh. I have a giant pile over here, by the way. I'd just like to point that out. We have a lot of cards piled up. Alright, next thing. Also, all my wrappers are just thrown over there. Get out, get out of the can get out of the shot, get out of the shot. Yeah, just go, yeah, just fall on the floor. I don't... Oh, shit. And there goes one of my lights. Alright, well, I threw them all over the floor, so I'm sure that's fine. Uh, also, I broke the end of my fingernail on something. That's fine. I, who cares? Alright, we got all these repeats. Is that a repeat? No, we've definitely seen that one before. Uh, come on. Yeah, we got a pink girl. We got a girl fighting ninjas. We got uh, another blurry photo with that. And uh, same foil again. What is in here? Uh, oh my god. They're glued again. Well, let's just look at the foil. Hey, isn't that a neat foil? How many cards do you think in here are cards we haven't seen before? Who cares? They're a brick. Alright, what's in this one? Hey, my boy, right on front, super bent up. God, they're a brick again! What? Why? Why? Why do I even care? Why am I bothering to unstick these? They're useless. They're all the same cards I've seen before, but now in super beat, uh, uh, un unusable condition. I, I know it's like a new version of the card because, you know, they're, they're terribly beat up, and so they probably have a lot of value. I don't think we've seen that one as a foil before. But, like... Who cares? Okay, we're almost done. We have three, six, nine packs. We have nine packs to go. Should I bother opening these? Should I leave these sealed and, like, list them on eBay for, like, $100 and see if someone just buys it? No, because I'm not an asshole. Alright. God, stop sticking! Alright, we got repeat. Oh, is that a Pete of re? Are we... Repeat, repeat, nightmare, earth. Yep, these are all super neat. Like maybe if you're a big fan of Power Rangers, I know I'm being super negative. Like yeah, if you're probably if you're a fan of the series, like if I had cards like this for a series that I was big into, it would be like looking back into like memories of that show. So oh god, my pile of cards just fell. So, like, yeah, maybe it would be really neat for Power Rangers fans. I know I'm just talking crap, but the foil system is stupid. And there just aren't enough of these. I know there are multiple sets, though. This is Series 2, which I think is one of the most... Nightmare. One of the most common sets the series to find. If you guys want me to, I might get a hold of Series 1, or if there's a Series 3, maybe and continue this dumb series. Flying Boy as a foil. Neat. I think we've seen that as well. I am literally running out of space on this long dresser to throw all of the cards. Like, I already had to throw all of the empty packs onto the floor that I now get to clean up later. Did I mention I went to the doctors today? I, I went to the doctor today. I, I have medication to take now. And I, I'm super nauseous, and I'm sitting here opening these cards and making a mess that I'm going to have to clean up later. And I... Why am I doing this to myself? Alright, so apparently my camera just shut off. The battery didn't die, it didn't have an overheating warning, it just... It just shut off, so I let it cool down in case it was a heating issue. We have four packs left, come on. Oh, that's beat up. Maybe we can open four more before my camera dies. Oh no, these are... Okay, they're not too bad. They're just really messed up in the case. Yeah, neat. Oh, God. Yeah, they're super stuck. Not as bad as the one pack. Cool. Look at all these special card. Come on. 
And what's our foil? That one again. Who would have thought? It's such a rare foil to find. Man, we pulled two of them. That's worth like two pennies if I sell them to a fan of the show. Alright, we got Punchy Boy, Kicky Boy, Elvis Boy, come on. Something new. Like, let us get, like, I'm, go I'm gonna have one card I was missing from making a complete set, and we're gonna pull it in the last pack. Or, like, a new foil, or something interesting. We're gonna get, like, one, one last hurrah, right? Like, one cool thing, and my pile of cards fell again. You can see them there, like, slightly off camera. All right, we got you and I don't I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just opening the same things over and over. Uh, nightmares, the place where I live. I mean, we we got some Pokemon cards today. I could have opened those on camera, but it was like ten packs, and it wasn't like anything special. It wasn't even ten. It was like it was seven packs. Oh, that one's warped. And, I mean, it would have been, like, a two-minute video. It wouldn't have been special. Uh, neat. But do expect Pokemon stuff in the future. That's my biggest card collection. Now, that one, we saw in the Destroyed bundle. But I don't know if we had it before. That might be the only one of those that we have. I don't know if I care enough to go find out. Also, I love how, like, for this shot for Power Rangers Day, for this, like, I'm guessing it was, like, an event in the show, they kind of, like, cut down that tree. So the tree is just covering the, the banner there. They kind of, like, cut down the tree for that shot, right? It It's not a thick tree. Surely somebody there has a chainsaw, or they had the production costs to go rent one, maybe? Can you rent a chainsaw? Surely you can, right? I've only ever had to use, like, I, I, I helped cut down trees for, like, a, one summer when I was a kid. But, like, we, we owned a chainsaw, and one time my stepdad tried to cut down a tree, and it fell onto the deck of our house. It wasn't connected to the house, like a separate thing, and completely destroyed it. We were renting, so we had to rebuild it. That was a fun chainsaw story. Not my current stepdad, this one's... Not, not, not living anymore. All right, so there's that. Um, all right, this is the last pack, so I'm hoping for something amazing at the end, but I know nothing's going to happen. It's going to be like the first one that we open and everyone after. It's going to be picture. Hey, look, there's a little beetle thing again. Well, cool. Now we have two of them in Ranger's Day. And <laughs> pretty sure that was our first foil and we're ending with our first foil. Just like I said, just like the first pack. So I don't really have anything else interesting to show you guys. Like, uh, don't only really have anything else to open right now that wouldn't be, be for its own video. Uh, we pulled that from the cards we opened earlier. That's like pretty much the only really impressive thing. And it's not that impressive. It's worth like two to three dollars. And that card actually came with the bundle that my girlfriend got. It is actually a foil. It's a little hard to see. You can kind of see it reflecting in the light there. It's not like the most huge shiny foil it's only like in the back in the pikachu's eyes but i like that card and of course that box that had that card and it came with this which is the whole reason to buy it like it has sobble grookey and score bunny all together in one figure and it's actually like pretty well detailed i actually like this little thing this came from the pack that my uh, girlfriend bought but those are pretty much the only like interesting pulls we really got from that so if you were wondering it was like just how big this pile is i'm talking about but, whoa and I threw my camera. That's fine. We didn't want the camera to be positioned correctly. You know what? We're just gonna like... I'm just gonna try and hold it and just like shuffle this pile. Look at this. Look at this. Why? Why, why would I want all of these? Why do I... It, it, this is deep, by the way. It isn't like some thin pile. Holy God. What am I gonna do with all of these things? Throw them back in the box? All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed, uh, like the video and sub to this new channel. If you don't know who I am, uh, look at my other channel, Seeker227. I'll have a link down below. Uh, that's where I post most of my things, and this is going to be for all the, these unboxing videos. Uh, bye. Psych, you thought the video was done. Um, so, it is almost like midnight now, and I do apologize that this is not the best here. Let's get this light on. Yeah, I can't just turn the flash on at will. Well, that sucks. So I actually organized all of the cards. 
because of how wrinkled they were, it's why the pile looked as big as it was. We actually got this box here to try and get them to be pressed together tighter to secure them. All the answer boards down there. And I have a complete set. That is all of them in order. Um, I actually have enough cards to make two complete sets, but not enough for three. Only because I only have two of these. Card number six. Well, Hoyle, Ho um, Foil Hollow number six. So, if I had one more of those, I could actually make three complete sets. But yeah, sorry if the audio or camera sucks here. I didn't really expect to record this part. I didn't think I would be doing all of this tonight. It took hours, but they're all organized for some reason. I don't know. I don't even care that much for them. So yeah, there are all those. There's that. And there is Duel Masters for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, bye.